Welcome back to our episode, Writing an Investigation Report. So, we tackle now the part 3, which is the last part. We've been through with the authority, matters investigated, and facts of the case. Now, we discuss about the discussion, conclusion, and the recommendation. So, from the facts of the case, we now discuss some matters. Let's say, for example, the discussion, letter A, the undersigned carefully check all circumstances surrounding the alleged reported thief incident and the result are as follows. Number one, there are no record and files of git passes submitted coming from the IT personnel. We are referring to the missing items is what's reported by Mr. Oi and Mr. Kiman of LS and F Logistics. Number two, there are no CCTV footages showing that the aforementioned items were taken and carted away by the unknown perpetrators from the IT room of LSMF Logistics. So we review the CCTV, of course. That's why we have found out that there are no CCTV footages. Number three, the undersigned found out that there is an inconsistency on the written statement submitted by the complainants. We are referring to Mr. Oi and Mr. Kiman, the LSMF IT personnel. So, this is your discussion. This is only a sample of discussion. Then, let's go to the conclusion. So, if you write your own conclusion, you can begin by this. Let's, let's say, for example, number one. As the juice from the port going, it was found out by the, by the herein investigator that the alleged missing items were baseless and there are no enough grounds to believe. To believe that the items were being pulled out from the IT room by the unknown culprits. So, this is your conclusion. So, you deduce the foregoing facts from the uh, uh, facts of the case and on the discussion. Likewise, likewise, due to the absence of the elements of theft, the alleged missing items cannot be declared a stiff incident in the instant case. So before uh, on our previous video, we tackle with the we discuss with the elements of theft. So now on this instant case, the elements of theft of theft are absent. So we cannot declare theft based on the facts of, uh, of the uh, incident and on the discussion. And let's go to the number two. It is now safe to conclude. It is now safe to conclude as your conclusion that the alleged losses are immaterial and irrelevant in nature. Why? Because prima facie, strong and convincing evidence, prima facie evidences does not exist on the presentation. So, when we say prima facie evidences, that is the strong and convincing evidences. So, prima facie on the instant case are absent. So, when we say immaterial and irrelevant, you cannot declare a step incident because of the element of theft of, of theft or absence and there are no prima facie evidences found during the investigation. And number three, for your conclusion, there are no missing items, but rather the IT personnel miscounting their items during their inventory conducted. So this is your recommendation. Uh, sorry, your conclusion, I mean. So, let's go to the recommendation. As if you are writing your investigation after you, uh, after that you conduct an investigation, now you, com you, you compose your recommendation. Let's say, for example, number one, the IT personnel should ask any officer to act as witness in any inventory they conducted. So, let's say, officer, any security personnel, security officer or LS and F management officer wherein the company wherein the are currently employed on the said company. Number two, they should inform the LS and F CDC2 management on their ongoing activity. So based on our investigation they did not inform the management on their ongoing activity. So we recommend that you should inform the management prior to the conduct of any activity. And number three, 
case can be referred to the higher authority for further investigation. So, all of these matters coming from the reports of Mr. Oi and Mr. Kiman, and of course the reports of the security personnel and any other witnesses. So, this is the sample in preparing an investigation report. So, if you have any inquiries, clarification or any suggestion as well or any recommendation in preparing of our reports you can leave your message below or if you want any copies of an investiga investigation report which I prepared before when I was employed in the Philippines just leave your comments below and I will send it to you either through the messenger or an email thank you so much and have a nice day